Hey guys, uh, if you click on this video, that means you had some problem with your um, uh, resolve crashing, either uh, doing while you're using it or while you're rendering videos. So I downloaded this uh, this uh, software yesterday for the first time uh, for just one video, and uh, it just kept crashing on me, um, especially during rendering. So I looked up some videos, uh, some forums. Um, nothing really helped me with with because there's so many solutions out there. I have no idea which one works, which one does not. I tried everything. Nothing seemed to work. And then um, all of a sudden it started working. I th I'm not sure what caused it, but I'm going to show you all my setup so um, you can maybe just do what i do hopefully help you this is not really a solution this is just what my setup is and it works for me so i have the davinci resolve 16.1.2.026 version okay and i have the um geforce 1080 ti graphics card So go to your G4 if you have the you have, you have the G uh, 10 Ti or any G Force Nvidia video card. Go to the G Force Experience. Go to Drivers. Make sure your Nvidia Studio driver is up to date. The newest one so far is a is a 441.66 version. Okay. So that's the driver for your graphics card. Also, I also downloaded the CUDA toolkit. Uh, this one can help you basically makes your rendering faster. That's that's my understanding. I actually don't know what it does in detail. I, I watched the video, it talked about it. It helps with your rendering time. So I just downloaded it and it didn't do it. it I think it helped. Okay. Also, this is the system requirement for this software. Make sure you have a Windows 10 update. 16 GB of system memory is recommended. That's the minimum. If you have less than that, I don't think it's gonna work because uh, it uses up a lot of your RAM during rendering. And also Blackmagic Design Desktop Video Version version 10.4.1 or later I don't know what the, this does I downloaded it anyways so make sure your your uh, driver is up to date I think the most important part is, is this one so during the rendering of the video my G, my CPU usage went up over 90% that's when the that's when my computer crashed so what I did was I went to Affinity. So you can see all the 12 cores on here. I basically disabled six cores. After I disabled six cores, when I start rendering a video, the load was only at 60 something percent. So it can go past 50 percent uh, while running a video because you said you said the core you want you want to use four or six out of the 12 cores so whatever your CPU is disable some cores so you're not using all the cores during rendering so your computer doesn't just crash because your CPU is max is maximized I have a, a 8700k CPU, which is really good, but still crashes. Um, I guess because the software, it doesn't opt optimize using the CPU usage. That's why it uses all the cores and your computer thinks, okay, this is too much, it just crashes. So disable, I, that's why they dis disable half the cores. 
Now we're going to the settings, go to preference. In here, in system, me memory and GPU. Set the limit resolve memory and fusion memory to a certain level so it doesn't go too high because when your memory goes too high your computer is in crash too so make a limit also in GPU processing mode I put in CUDA so I'm going to make sure uh, that all the processing is used through GPU or the GPU can handle the load instead of put everything on the CPU Okay, so that's that. All right, now let's try. I'm going to try to render something real quick. I tried. Uh, I tried using this setting, and also MP4 setting. It worked for both. So let's just try the MP4 first. Okay. So we add this to render queue. Start render. As you can see, my loads shoot up to 60%, 65%. The temperature shoots up too. But never goes really high. It stays, stays around 60 something percent. Because this software alone uses up 50% of my CPU. The rest is just whatever software I'm using right now. So try to keep your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, make sure you don't overload them. Just try to change settings on your, on your PC to limit this software to use up all the spaces on your computer. I'm going to fast forward this part so you can see I can uh, render the whole video without any problem. Alright guys, as you can see, uh, this video has finished finished uh, rendering. So let's open the video. Alright guys, so today we got Monk. This new feature. And it works. So to recap, make sure everything is up to date, your software, your graphics card, and all the supporting software that you might need. Which include, let me see. CUDA and Black Magic Design desktop video ver version 10.4.1 later. Honestly, not sure what this does, but download it anyways. Okay. Also, secondly, make sure your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, make sure they don't overload. 
that's why you need to set a limit of how much power uh, the definition itself uses while rendering. As you can see, during the rendering the whole time, the load was around 60 to 70 the whole time. So make sure that stays low so it doesn't crash. Uh, this is at least how I do it. Uh, it might be different for you. So uh, if you have any suggestions or let me know if it works or not for you. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, uh, try something else. And uh, if it works, comment below, let me know so other people can learn from you too. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.